Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a fairly small haul, so hopefully this won't take that long, knock on wood. Um, <laughs> um, so this is, like I said, a very small haul. It's a collective haul and it's from things that I ordered in December and then ended up receiving um, at the beginning of January or like in the middle of December. So what has happened is that I am trying to really cut back on the amount of things that I'm purchasing, um, mostly because I have a lot of things already and then also um, because I am trying to um, kind of just spend less money and budget better. So like I said, these are items that, some items that I purchased in December. This first item I actually purchased in November but didn't get it until the beginning of December. But I didn't really have anything else in December that I had purchased. So here it is now that I'm showing you. Okay, so this first set is a bundle from the Standard Essential. And so here's the um, logo and the business card. But the bundle was, it's one of um, Susan's Take Me Away bundles. And I think it's a Take Me Away bundle. Um, but this is the one for Iceland. And so it comes with her pen gems, the Standard Essential pen gem, and this is the 2.0 version, so the second Standard Essential pen. And then it comes with the Simply Gilded Washi in the kind of like spring green. So that is the Simply Gilded Washi. Then like I said, this is the pen gems. And let's see if I can get, get it to focus. There we are. So you can see there's this really beautiful like blue to kind of a sea green bluish um, to white crystal ombre in this pen. And then the pen on top is this really light kind of sea foam green color. And then it just has a very plain, um, simple white enamel barrel and it has gold hardware, so really pretty. Okay, then we have the actual like sticker kit from the Standard Essential. And there were a few extra little freebies on it. So here is the business card. And I believe this kit and this bundle is only available if you are in Susan's Facebook group. So. If you're interested in getting in one of her bundles, then I would check out her um, Facebook group because you like she gives you a password so you can log in and get the um, and then get the purchase the bundle. So this is the Pretty and Prim Co. Um, like little like stickers that go along with it, and they're all Iceland themed. So this is Northern Lights, um, whatever that lighthouse is, and Iceland the Golden Circle. This pastry thing that I can't pronounce and then this also this food type that I can't pronounce but there they are super super cute whale watching puffins and then little bunnies in snowsuits here this is from KPL plans this is a um, clear foil overlay in silver so as you can see Right? It's just a clear foil overlay, but it can go over your full boxes and it has that kind of northern lights pattern. Then this outline and then the snowflakes, so super pretty. This is also from KPL Plans. Um, this is on white, um, like premium matte paper, and it's just a countdown with silver foiling. And then here we get to the actual kit. So let's see. All right, so this is, I believe this is a full kit. So here you have some like snowflake deco. You have these really cute like Polaroid overlays, which I believe are like they're actually cut out. So you can like put, uh, you know, either a small picture there or like um, just write something else in the box and then put that on top. So I thought that was a cute idea. Here you have more of your sidebar stuff and your really uh, small three heart checklists. Here's your weekend banner and then half boxes, quarter boxes, or like labels, full heart checklists. And this is all on a, um, a premium mat, so it's a really nice feeling paper. Here are your headers and little things. Here are the full boxes. So it's just really, really cute. And even though it's for Iceland, like, Obviously, this could really be for any sort of like snowy, wintry scene. 
Um, and then you have the Northern Lights added in, which is really pretty. But And then here is the bottom washi and date covers. So again, that Northern Lights pattern, really pretty. And then the last page is a glitter sampler. So you have like glitter headers, flags, and these hat boxes. The next set of items I got is from Creating & Co. So Paige, the owner of this shop, was doing like a big end of the year sale um, on items that she was basically trying to clear out because she had overstock and she was like, I need to get rid of these. Um, and so she could start fresh for the new year. So I got a few items. The first one, this is actually a freebie. I think it was like while supplies last, but it's just a set of post-it notes and, or sticky notes. And it has, it's, Harry Potter themed. This came from when Paige was doing the Harry Potter themed TN kits. And so you have the gold bow down here and then just the four kind of key characteristics for each of the houses. So bravery, loyalty, wisdom, ambition. So I thought that was really cute. And I like the neutral colors for that. The next thing um, that I got, and this is one that I did purchase, was a felt clip. I'm not usually a felt clip person, but I just thought this was really, really cute. This is supposed to be Paige's dog, XO, and he's just this really, really cute felt paper clip. And because I always want to know what does the back look like, that's what the back looks like. And then he's pretty sturdy too. Like he's not moving from, from the clip. So he's really well made, super cute. And this is from Plumy Crafts. And there's the business card. I got two more things from the sale and then one thing that's not from the sale. So I will show the thing not from the sale last. So this was from the sale. I am so sorry that my focus is all wonky today. This is actually a horizontal kit, but it was I think the last one that she had. And I really, I remember when she first release this i really really wanted it but i had so many summer kits and i still have so many summer kits that i couldn't justify purchasing it so now that it was on like sale i decided to go ahead and get it even though it was horizontal i figured i could still use it so the boxes are a little bit smaller they're designed to fit horizontally on an erin condren but i still really really love the pattern it's gold foiled it's a light gold foil it's just really, really pretty. And it says, I find happiness where the sun shines. Here is a bunch of deco, kind of some of her like icons um, and some of her script icons. Here's your date covers. I totally blanked. I was like, I don't know what that is. And then this is the third page of the horizontal. So here you have these really thin strips that you would use if you were separating the days in the horizontal Erin Condren. I figured I could maybe hopefully try to keep them together to do like a slightly thicker washi. We'll see if that actually works. If not, I could probably find like a Simply Gilded or some washi from my own stash to, um, to use. And then you have your checklists, your kind of sidebar or like um, weekly like trackers, and then a few half boxes and a couple quarter boxes. So I just really love the kind of bright vibrancy of this kit. And so definitely wanted to pick that up. All right, the last thing that I got that was from the sale is this, it's, let me, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. Uh, that's slightly better, but not much. This is basically a big tote bag. So as you can see, here's the tote um, handles. I guess that's the brand that she kind of um, got this from. So my understanding is that she provided the image and then they and then had like a third party actually do the printing and then they would send it out. So that's what the image looks like. It says Save Our Seas. This was again from a collaboration she did with, I think it's Pretty on Paper Co. They did this thing where it was kind of like Save Our Seas and very like ocean themed. And then I think they might have donated some of the proceeds to like an ocean themed like preservation, but I'm not, not completely sure. Um, cause I just don't remember cause it was a while ago. And again, I remember at the time I really liked this kind of theming, but just 
couldn't justify purchasing anything at the time. However, when I saw this, I was really intrigued because in Boston, we recently passed a law saying that they are not giving out plastic um, disposable plastic bags anymore. So if you go to like a CVS or even a restaurant, a takeout restaurant, and you um, need a bag, they will charge you five cents and then give you a kind of thicker plastic bag or a reusable plastic bag basically, or like a paper bag. So I was like, because of that, and then also just because I'm a little bit more conscious of all the plastic bags that I'm using, I've been using more kind of reusable bags. So I have the Erin Condren bags I've been using, but I wanted to get more kind of sturdier canvas ones. So this is a canvas and I really like it. I haven't used it yet, but what I like is that it's really, really wide. Like this is, this is pretty wide. And so I was actually really surprised by that and kind of pleased because it'll fit a lot of items. I'm thinking like grocery items, like it's not just a tote bag that's like two pieces that's like one piece of material like folded in half like there's there's some width to this bag so i do really really like that all right the last thing that i purchased is this and this is for the year-long um 2019 creating and co book map reading challenge or reading prompts so Paige is a big avid book reader and she has her own Creating Co book club on Facebook. And so she decided for this year, here are the prompts that the book club could follow. And she came up with this map to go along with it. And I just thought that was really, really cute. And so then she gives you these stickers. And so basically you have 24 prompts, 24 stickers, and then you start here. And as you read, a book that corresponds with one of these prompts, you take the corresponding number. So let's say, for example, if I read an adaptation, then I would take, st and I complete the adaptation first out of all of these prompts, I would take sticker 10 and put it right here. And then if my next book that I complete is a 2019 release, I would take sticker 21 and put it right here. And so you continue all the way until the end. You know, I think this is just for fun, but I really do like to support page and I like this idea that she's kind of creating these more bookish related items. So, you know, you don't have to get this to participate in the reading prompts. You can still read and participate in the group. But like I said, I do like supporting her and I'm getting so confused on how you flip this over. The next two items I purchased from a person on Simply Gilded's buy sell trade group and this is a rainbow ombre washi with rose gold bows and then this is a moon washi with holographics and I don't remember when these came out or with what collection they're they're in I'm not sure if this was the most recent like Rockstar's uh sub from September or not I just I've stopped keeping up with that sort of stuff that's what they look like they were um completely packaged and unopened when I got them and I just went ahead and opened them right now. And so I know that this background is like not completely blank, but it is a white background. So here's what the ombre looks like. It's just a really beautiful like rainbow ombre and then the moons and you can really kind of see the foiling and the holographic foiling there. So really, really pretty. Very pleased that I have those two washi. And I think for now I'm about washied out honestly because I have a lot and I just need to use it and you know everything that I have I love and so I really want to use what I have. All right so this last item that I purchased is from Happy Daya and I just received this yesterday so I haven't even opened it yet other than like to take it out of its its larger packaging. So this did come with a cardboard back to it to make sure that it didn't um, get bent, which I liked and I appreciate. And then you have the Happy Daya stickers. So I do not remember what I got. I think these are the freebies. I purchased these, I think at the end of December, I think it might've been for a Boxing Day um, sale. And I just received them now. So this is just a die cut. It's really cute. It has the different winter animals. Very cute. And then we have 
this one, this little freebie, and then this one. All right, so here are the stickers that I got. And I, like I said, I did get this during a sale, so there was a slight discount on it. So this first one is a hair dye appointment, and I thought these were just really cute. And funny enough, I might actually not be dyeing my hair anymore. I don't know. Really cute. Then I got these YouTube stickers, which are really cute. Then these board game stickers. I love board games, and I thought these were just really, really, really cute. I got the girl running, and I got the girl with the dark brown hair. I got the boba stickers, which are really cute. The boba is like little hearts. I got the hamburger stickers. I got the pizza stickers because I realized I didn't really have pizza icons. These are hot pot stickers. These are pho stickers. And the last one was pills. All right, so this is everything from my haul, minus the big tote that's off screen because it's a little bit too big. But thank you so much for watching. I will leave information for all of these shops down in the description bar below. All of this stuff I did purchase with my own money, so I'm just doing it because I really liked these shops and wanted to show you what I got. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I will see you in the next video. Bye.